Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Welcome back to the videos. Okay, this series of videos, uh, two or three, we'll see how we go, are talking about trading plan. So this is a massive topic. I'm gonna to try and get it really concise as possible. I'm gonna put down some of the key things I think you need for a trading plan, some of the mistakes I think people make with trading plans, and then in the kind of final video, I've got some trading plans for you. We'll put more together, we'll go back to the screen, go back to the computer, and we'll run through and kind of critique them so that hopefully at the end of these videos, you're gonna be able to go away and construct a trading plan that works for you. Now, like I always say with everything in trading, there's no right or wrong way to do it. You may agree or disagree with what I say and what I think is valuable because I'm doing it from my perspective. The important thing is to take it all, all the things that we talk about here in the next couple of videos and make it work for your style, your strategy, your personality. Okay, let's get straight into it. So there's a bit of confusion here with um, what actually is a trading plan. I've basically got two definitions for trading plan. I've got one which is your goals, your trading goals, and one which is kind of your day-to-day -day, uh, strategy is not really the right word, but um, kind of operations, if you like. So let's put goals versus uh, daily um, plan. Okay, now to me, they're two distinct different things. And unfortunately, this kind of gets muddled sometimes. People say, hey, trading plan, when they might be talking about goals, they might be talking about daily plan. So let's just split this up for now. We're gonna focus mostly on the daily plan. We're gonna spend a little bit of time talking about the goals, but that's a kind of separate subject. But we're gonna focus mainly on, mainly on this. But let's talk a little bit about what this goals uh, part of the trading plan is. So goals is really saying, hey, listen, what kind of trader, do I want to become? You know, I'm starting out or I'm X years into the business. Where do I want to be in five years, two years, 10 years in my trading career? You know, how does trading fit into my life? How does it work in terms of finances? How does it work in time in terms of uh, time dedicated to the actual craft of trading? So, you know, your trading goals are going to be something like, um, you know, I'm going to trade, um, you know, two days a week, for example, if I'm day trading, I'm going to trade the open two days a week from eight o'clock till 10 o'clock. And I'm going to uh, trade options as well in US stocks, whatever it may be. So my goals are to become a trader that you know earns a supplementary income from the markets by giving this amount of time to the market. It may be, listen, I want to become you know a prop trader, a prop firm in which case you're, that's your goals and you're gonna to have to build up a track record. You're gonna to have to then approach prop companies and say, hey, this is my track record I've done with, you know, whatever thousand pounds it may be, uh, or will you back me with more? So, you know, we could go on and on about this, but you kind of get the point. The goals are, listen, what do you wanna be as a trader? Where do you wanna to push towards? And also things like, the, this kind of steers the ship, if that makes sense. So, you know, perhaps if you are day trading at the moment and you kind of want to step back a bit from day trading, uh, from a personal perspective, this is kind of something that, you know, that was really important for me is having day traded so actively for so long and wanting to change the type of trader I became and say, listen, I don't want to be sat from my desk from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. I want to kind of get involved when the market is very active, but still be the day trader but only get involved when certain criteria are met. So that kind of then, then steers you, you know, over the months to where you want to do and what you want to achieve. Um, perhaps it's the vice versa for you, perhaps it's the, the other way around. You're swing trading, you're saying, listen, I've got more time in my hands now. I notice I'm getting good performance from my day trading. I want to start to do more time in front of the screen um, that, that I'm getting paid accordingly. So it's a broad thing. It's not really relevant to trading plan. When people talk about trading plan, they, this is sometimes the confusion that happens on the internet. People say, well, you know, is that kind of what's happening in the future for you? No, no, this is your goals, where you're steering your, your pathway as a trader, your career path, if you like. I know you can't really have control over it, but if they worked in a corporation, say, listen, we're working way out to middle management, they want to work way out to the board, then I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to start my own company, whatever it may be, that would be kind of the same strategy. But outlining the type of trader you want to be, the sort of time you want to commit to it, possibly the income sort of levels that you're trying to achieve, it's not always just easy to click your fingers and say that, but you've got some kind of guide and whether that's you know a few extra thousand a month or whether that's something you wanna try and build maybe a pension pot or something, is it wealth generation, is it income? All these kind of things go in hand with that trading goals thing. So that's that. Um, I wanna now talk about specifically um, the daily plan. And this is what we're gonna go into a lot more depth in the next few videos, talking how to construct this plan, what it should consist of, 
good positive things to have in there, things that you perhaps aren't very good to have in there, how to declutter it and really get some focus because you know without a plan, then you will struggle to achieve what you want as a trader. And without that plan, you won't be able to get what you're trying to achieve, which are your medium term goals. So let's have a look in the next video and we'll talk a little bit more depth about constructing the trading plan.